A little bit of salt and cold butter. So this plain flour, salt and cold butter, we are just going to use our fingertips and break the butter with a dry flour. So this is like a breaking the butter cubes with a dry flour always in your hands like this. And then next we're going to add the egg and water. But first we need to mix the butter and flour completely. Make sure you do not leave any butter cubes. Okay, so use your fingertips. Continue breaking the butter. Try not to too much of handling the butter because if you are too much handling, the chances your body heat will help to melt the butter. And if your butter is melted, at the end the texture will change a little bit, which is become more like a bread kind of dough is not a pastry dough so you have to continue using the cold butter and just break it with a dry flour so once you reach you will find a very crumbly texture something like this okay so make sure you don't have any butter cubes okay so you see, once your dry flour and butter mix together, so your texture will be like this, like a crumble, cheese or sense texture. Okay. So now I'm going to add the egg and water. So we add the egg and just a half of the water first. And then we combine the dough together. Okay, so now you can see the dough is still slightly dry. So we're going to add more water. But try not to add a lot of water in one go. Otherwise your dough will become too watery, which is going to be very difficult to handle when you're going to roll. Okay, so pastry dough, you do not need you just try to combine all the things together and that's it okay this pastry dough we don't need okay so now we are going to do the rolling so you see the pastry dough if you find this kind of breakage is okay is no problem later when you're going to roll it will be all comes together and this kind of texture will give you the very nice flaky texture in your pastry Okay, so for the rolling, what we're going to do, just uh, sprinkle a little bit of flour in the bottom. Make it flat with the hands as much as you can. Okay, now when you are rolling, you have to make sure continue take off and try to move around. So it's, the dough doesn't stick into the bottom. Sprinkle some flour, sprinkle on top. Okay. So here, if you don't have the rolling pin, this is something you can use at home, like any of the round bottle, you can just use for the rolling the dough. So you see how easily I can roll without the rolling pin also. Okay, so this something you can use and as I mentioned before, make sure is take the dough, lift and make sure is keep on rolling around. Now, okay, so this dough we are going to roll around up to three to four mm thickness and make sure the dough size is big enough to cover your baking tin, cover the base and cover the sides work. So I think this is uh, enough to fill in. So what we're going to do, we roll on top of the rolling pin like this and then undo here. 
okay so now what you're going to do first you need to fill the corners in so you lift the door and just push in okay now when you push in all the door you have to lift and use your finger to just push the door into the corners Okay, so this is just nice. Now, excess dough. What you can do, you can just use your fingers to cut the dough from the top. Okay, so this the the pastry is a. Uh, ready for half baking so what we're going to do we just going to make a some hole with a fork like this so this will help to escape all the steam out so when you bake the dough your pastry won't be uneven rise okay now this one will go into the oven so this oven we need to preheat onto the 180 degrees celsius first baking we are going to bake at 180 degrees celsius for 20 minutes so i'm going to put this dough into the oven while we are baking this oven we're going to prepare the filling ingredient okay so if you have a, this kind of leftover dough what you can do you can make roll into the shell and just keep into the freezer you can keep up to three months in a freezer and whenever you want to bake you can just take all the dough and you can use to make again the pastry so now we are going to prepare the filling ingredients okay so for the okay so for filling ingredients over here we have a different type of uh, vegetable which is a mushroom capsicum onion there's uh, some ham and i have uh, some leftover chicken which you can use in your cheese filling inside the cheese the best thing is you can always add anything you like to add in. So anything like leftover vegetable, leftover food you have, you always can just add in. You can change filling according to your own taste as well. So let's start with the preparing of the vegetable. So first we're gonna slice the mushrooms. Just give a thin slice of the mushrooms. So this the mushroom slice goes in a tray one side. Okay. Now we're gonna cut the capsicums. Okay. So different color of capsicum you can use to give a nice color into your vegetables all the veggie we finish all the slicing of the three color of capsicums now i'm going to slice the ham so just again cut into thin slices. Okay. 
okay and then the chicken so also you can just slice the chicken or you can just use your hand to shred the chicken into the small pieces You just need to heat up the pan. Then you just add a around one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use olive oil or you can use the butter to fry the vegetables. So you can use anything you like to add it. If you use butter, will add the more rich flavor into your vegetables. So tidy up your place all the time. Okay, so once your oil is hot, we are going to add the onion first, and after onion, we'll add some seasoning. So for the seasoning, I'm going to use a uh, salt, pepper, and a little bit of dry mixed herb. You can use any kind of herbs inside, like dry thyme, fresh thyme, or rosemary, parsley. Anything you can use. Over here, I'm using the dry mixed herb. Which is a mixture of uh, dry parsley, dry thyme, dry rosemary, all the dry organo, all the herbs mixed inside here. So this is just for the flavoring. If you don't have this one, you can make it without this also. It's optional. So once your pan hot, add the onion. So onion we are not going to cook until we are just going to cook till it is a bit soft because later on we are going to bake again the fish dough with the filling and all the things in So once it is slightly soft you can feel the fragrance coming down you can add the capsicums and mushroom all the veggie you can add in Okay, so vegetable be cooked until slightly soft. So right now I'm going to add the seasoning in, which is a mix herb. Salt and pepper. So if you have any question, you can leave the question and we'll try to get back to you. You can type your question and leave the question. So we'll try to get back to you with the answer or your query. Okay, so once your vegetables are soft, we are going to add the ham. This is a chicken ham we are using and the roasted chicken. We are going to add in. So as I mentioned, you don't have to cook very long over here because we are going to bake into the oven again for around 45 minutes. So the half done of the vegetable is just nice. Okay, so this is our vegetable are done. Now we are going to move on to the third part of the recipe, which is the filling, custard filling ingredient. Okay, so for custard filling, we are going to use a uh, thin milk and egg. 
So normally we use one is to one is to one. Means one part of sin, one part of meat, and one part of egg of the equal quantity we add into the filling ingredient. So over here, I'm going to add the sin into the one jar. Then milk will go in. In the egg. So now we are going to add a little bit of seasoning, salt, and a little bit of pepper. So for this salt and pepper is enough to add in, then we are just going to mix all the things together. Okay, so this is our filling is done. Now we are going to check onto our base is uh, half cooked. Okay, so as you can see, our base is uh, half done, which is uh, a nicely pop up. You can see some other pieces. And you can see the edge is slightly golden brown color. So this is a uh, half done. Now we are going to add the filling. So what we're going to do? I like to put cheese into the bottom first. So this gives the crust is a very nice uh, taste and rich flavor when you're going to bite the uh, crust. So now I'm going to add the filling ingredients. So you can put any filling you like to add in. You can just add all the filling ingredient. Okay. If you have a this ingredient like leftover some extra ingredient, so don't worry. These are the things you can use for your any of the noodle dish, your fried noodle. You can add in. Okay. So now I'm going to fill the sauce in. Okay. So filling of the sauce, you have to make sure it just fill up to the slightly lower than the rim of the tart. Do not overfill because if you overfill, what happens? All the filling will come out and goes into the mold inside. So you just pour at one place and keep on looking at the corners whether it's not overflowing the things. Okay, so this is just nice. You can see the part is just nice with the filling over there. Now we're gonna. Topping with the cheese. Okay. okay. So this is I'm using the chana cheese. If you like, you can use mozzarella cheese or chana cheese. Any cheese you like. Okay. But the best is chana cheese goes very nice. Topping and uh, taste over here is very nice. So quantity you can always increase or decrease. If you uh, fan of the cheese, you can add more cheese. Okay, so this is our the fish with the vegetable and the custard inside and the filling inside. Now we are going to put this into the oven again for 45 minutes. Now we are going to bake around 180 degrees Celsius, same temperature. But we are going to bake it up to around 45 minutes. So we have to look for the very nice brown color on top, and you can take it out. Okay, so this one I have, which is a pre-baked before, just in the early morning today. I done this before in the morning, so you can see it's nicely brown color from the top. And so I'm going to show you how you can do the cutting and the plating for this. So this one, you can just take it out, okay? So you can see the crust is very nicely golden brown color and the filling is all just nice and thick. But cut into one by four. Okay, 
okay so this is how it's gonna looks like once your filling is done and nice okay so for the fill click in okay so i have some salad over here which is i'm going to put some olive oil you can put any kind of dressing you like to add in and a little bit of salt and pepper okay so just nicely mix it together So this is our final uh, product of the quiche, which is how it looks like. You can leave your contact number for if you have a more inquiries about the other process. So you can just find out through our website or you can leave your contact number and our admin staff will reach to you regarding of any process or any inquiries about your question.